Good morning, Exchange Church and everyone else that's watching. Welcome to Grace for today. And as you can see, it's not Penny and it's not Andrew. And my name's Joseph, Joseph Stevenson, and I'm from Balmena, as you probably know by my beautiful accent. Myself and my wife Annette go to Exchange Church in Belfast, and we just love it because the message that they preach and talk about is all about Jesus. Now this summer we're doing an event, or not an event, but we're doing our Grace for Today's from the Psalms. <clears throat> and we've all got Psalms, it's our favourite. My favourite is most is Psalm 23, and I just love it. But the, the verse that I'm going to talk about today is from Psalm 1. And I love Psalms, and I love reading them from the version of the Bible that I have called the Living Bible. And it's just very straightforward, and I got this from my brother-in-law, Dennis, who's now passed on to be with Jesus. But whenever I get saved, it was just a, a beautiful version of the Bible to read from, and it made everything so simple, and I love keeping things simple. So in this particular verse, as I said, it's from Psalm 1, and it's verse 3, and it says, They are like trees along a river bank, bearing luscious fruit, each season without fail. Their leaves shall never weather, and all they do shall prosper. And I loved that the first time I read that, because again, <clears throat> my wife and myself, we play golf. And over across here just from us is Galgorn Golf Course. And it's full of trees, and they're just absolutely beautiful in the summertime. And there's a river also runs along there for some time. My golf ball has ended up in it. But the trees are beautiful. And as I said, in the summertime, they're just so green and, and lush with leaves. But yet in the winter time, the same trees, they lose their leaves and they weather. And the winter time over at this golf course is not as nice as it is in the summer. But the thing that I'm leading to is that there's beautiful fir trees and they're evergreens. And they're just beautiful from winter through summer, every season, just like it says here, without fail. They're just beautiful and green. And this makes me think of Jesus. Because if we keep our focus on Jesus, and this is who we have become because of the, the, the great exchange that was made at the cross, where Jesus took us out of the old flesh and put us into Christ. And I find that when I keep my focus on Jesus, it's like this evergreen trees. He just never changes. And we know that Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. And this is... It's a way that I have of just dwelling on Jesus and seeing him in all his glory and knowing that that exchange has been made. And as I said, our church is so well named because it's called exchange and that is who we've become because we are a new creation in Christ. And whenever we stop looking at sometimes the old weather tree or which is our old life that sometimes gets up to bite us, and makes us think, and this is how I see that Satan sometimes tries to keep us in the old person. I call the old person Jojo, and I call the new person Joseph. But I am, as what the Bible says, a new creation in Christ. So that, this is why this particular verse means so much to me, because of just seeing the, the, the lovely green trees and just picturing it. And as I said, it keeps my focus on Jesus. And when I do that, I just... I seem to live life in a more happier place and uh, it's just a wonderful way to start the day with these particular these these devotions and as I said we tune in and Ed and I tune in every morning and hear Andrew and Penny and it just gives us a lift it just it wakens us up to see that, that we are this wonderful new creation as I keep saying in Christ and it's a lovely way to start each day with the devotion and uh, just hopefully this gives anybody that's listening to it uh, a lift and keeps their, as I said, keep their focus on Jesus and don't worry about the circumstances that goes on around them and how they feel because we do go up and down every day and we, and we don't just always like living by our feelings. But we live by God's word and God's word is the truth. And if Jesus has told us this, that he's done, went to the cross and done this for us, then we just keep on living and there's a, another verse that comes to mind as he says in John, as I am, so are you in this world. So again, it's, it's everything. If you just 
keep thinking and, 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 and keep your mind focused on Jesus, I believe it does help you to live a, a life that's like the, the tree bearing much fruit. And, and again, that the fruit that, that Jesus talks about is the fruit of the Spirit. And, and, and that this is love, joy and peace. And there's so many other parts to it as well, but I just love them three because I love living my life as much joy and peace as I possibly can. So I just said thank you for listening this morning to me and we always finish off our, our, our grace for today is by taking communion. And again, I see this as receiving because it's just the wonderful way that Jesus done everything for us because even as we remember him, we're actually receiving all that he has done for us. Like Jesus is our, our health, he's, he's, he's our sound mind, he's our healing, he's everything. And he's done this for the, on the cross for us. And as he says, he gave us flesh for the life of the world. And that's what this piece of bread represents, is, is Jesus' very life. And I believe that whenever we do this each day, we're actually receiving that life into our mortal bodies. And, and that's just the wonderful Jesus that we have, that we actually remember him, but we gain from it. So I, I just thank you this morning, Jesus, for your body. And thank you, Lord, for what you've done at the cross for me. And I just get to eat now and eat the very life of Jesus into my body. And then we take the cup, which represents the new covenant that we now live in. And it is the covenant of grace, because everything Jesus has done for us. And his blood paid for this, because the old covenant didn't work. And God had to abolish it. And he brought in by his, bringing his son into this world. And he went to the cross. And his blood is paid for this. But there's nothing more we can add to it or nothing we can take away. It's a finished work. And our sins and every deed as it says, your sins and lawless deeds I will remember no more. So I just pray that you get to get an understanding of this that your sins and lawless deeds are gone and to see what God sees and as he sees the blood of his son every time he looks at us and the more that we can see this and the more that we can live in this new person of Christ then the much happier and joyful life I believe it will have. Thank you. Enjoy your day and goodbye.